Do you want to learn how to create visually appealing presentations within seconds? Well, check out these examples. This first one is must-do experiences in Japan, and you'll see the examples and some of the content that it's inserted. And here's an informative presentation on artificial intelligence and the glimpse of the future. Or well, what about a pitch deck for a software tool that you may have, such as this productivity tool? So it goes through the problem statement, the market size, the solution, key features, and monetization strategy. Or perhaps you want to create a presentation that's educational, like mastering the art of public speaking and you can see contents of it. Let me show you how you can create your presentations in this video. All right, to start creating your presentation, all you need is a free Canva account. You can grab your Canva account using the link down in the description box below. It's actually a 30 day trial of Canva Pro if you wanna give it a try. However, using the feature that I'm about to present to you in this video, you do not need a Canva Pro account. Once you've signed up for an account, go to your Canva homepage and you'll see a feature called Magic Presentation and this is Canva's AI powered presentation tool and it uses artificial intelligence to generate the text and also find relevant photos that'll go with the text too. If you don't see the magic presentation option, fear not because I'll show you another way to open it. But what you're going to wanna do is look for that and click on magic presentation and then click on try it out. Next, it'll prompt you and ask you to use five or more words to describe your presentation topic. Now, if you just wanna give this a try you can click on try an example and it's got a pitch deck for my yoga homestay startup but what I'm going to do instead is enter something like must do things in Japan and then I'll hit enter it's now creating the presentation next Canva will prompt you to choose a design and you can choose from various styles from the library right here or you can click on see more to view more options you can preview a template by selecting it and now you can see what it looks like so top 10 must do things in Japan if you're happy with the template although you can customize it fully once we get to the next step click on create my presentation and now you can start customizing your presentation so we've got again 10 must do things in Japan and that's kind of what it generated and put out however when I counted the number of things it was only something like nine so there are limitations at the moment with uh, using magic presentation I'm sure in the future they will improve and progress with in terms of the artificial intelligence and what it produces but going back a couple of steps if you didn't find that magic presentation option you could easily go to presentations and then start a new presentation in this mode you won't be prompted so what you need to look for is the magic design option and then you'll see the prompt or wherever you are in canvas design mode you can click on the magic button or canva assistant and then click on magic design and then that will prompt you but let's go back to the presentation because what you'll notice is that it's also added the content so visit uh tokyo's i'm not sure how to pronounce this the fish market uh, you've got um you know kyoto's fushimi Inari Shrine and all of these others, right? So it's given some ideas in terms of what we can present in our presentation, but we're not limited to just obviously presenting this. And in fact, we shouldn't because plenty of other people may have the exact same content. So this is where you go in, make those customization options, you know, personalize it and to your audience, of course, as well to your taste, to your personality, to your voice, so that it makes sense, right? Now, the limitation with Canva's magic presentation is that it will generate up to 10 slides at the time of this recording. It may improve in the future whereby it will generate even more, but for now there's about 10 slides. And this means the amount of tips that it generates is limited to about nine tips or 10 tips or so, depending on what you actually prompt it. Uh, even when I did prompt, let's say 20 things to see in Japan, it only uh, limited to just nine tips. So in order to generate more ideas, you could always go to Canva Assistant, go to Magic Design, and again prompt it for let's say five things to do in Japan so I'll prompt it and here's a generated presentation with the places to see in Japan it may overlap based on the things that it shared so it's just a matter of picking and choosing what we want in terms of the template styles you may not find the exact template that you used or selected initially that's okay you can always just copy the text over or use the same uh, presentation branding but let's go ahead with this and create my presentation and down below you'll see the new slides added now we can obviously delete what we do not want and keep what we want but that's a little tip there to generate more ideas and more slides to your existing presentation in terms of customizing 
in your presentation. You can go to any slide, let's say down below. Now, if you do not see this, it may be down right here where it says show pages and then it'll appear. So let's say we wanna change this title to top five must do things in Japan, we can do so. And then edit this font style by selecting it and then choosing the font style that we want. If you wanna change the photos that it's generated, you can always replace it by going to the photos area and then going and searching for what you want. Let's say Japan, browse to the library of photos to see one that may fit this title page. And let's say this one with the Sakura <laughs> looks nice. We can always drag it right here. And because it is using a frame Frame, a Canva frame, it will basically just shape it based on what was existing. So go through each of the slides, customizing and editing you want on it until you're satisfied. And once you're done and ready to present, you can always go to present and Canva gives you a few options such as present in full screen. You've got presenter view, you've got present and record where you can record yourself and you do need a webcam enabled, or you can let this auto play. Now, if you do wanna save it as a PowerPoint presentation that you can always go to share then where it says download download it on the other hand you can save it as a file in this case we'll save it as a PDF so we'll click on share go to download and you'll see under file type PDF standard and you can also save it as a JPEG or PNG files and in this case PDF standard will make most sense select the number of pages to save as a PDF and I'll click on done and download canvas magic presentation isn't perfect but it's a great starting ground if you want to create your presentations without having to start from scratch especially when it comes to the actual styling and the layout of your presentation so rather than starting from a blank canvas you could very well use magic presentation to give you that starting ground that foundation and then customize it as you wish but let me know your thoughts on magic presentation and whether you'll be using it for your next presentation i'd love to know in the meantime i hope this video was helpful and if it was by all means give this video a thumbs up and i'm looking forward to sharing the next video with you thanks for watching and do take care